Welcome to Let's Play Solitaire, and thanks for tuning in. If you're new to this, what we do is we tackle a random game, and if you're going to like this sort of thing, you might want to check out a playlist called Let's Play Solitaire. There's also a playlist with tips on how to get better. It's called Solitaire Tips. They're both on this channel. Let's go ahead and get started with the game. All right, the first thing I like to do is anything in the columns that can be moved. Sometimes I deviate from that, but most of the time that's going to be the play here. Uh, let's see, we have a 9, 8, and 10 we can move. Okay, so we have two queens. We're going to look at those first and see which way we go. Let's try this one. That leads to an open column, and that may... That lets us play the other queen, so that, that's going to be the right move. Anytime you can move both the queens, that's the right move. We're going to go with that. The only downside, the only downside of this, and we're going to have to figure out some stuff here or we might be in trouble, is that our first card was a king. So we may want an open column. We'd have to take these moves back, but um, this king is very valuable because it's in the very front of the draw pile. It allows us to manipulate the rest of it. So I may go back and change that, but we're going to see how this plays out. We'll play the seven. I think we'll play this uh, diamond here and we'll play that. Okay, we have another king. We'll play the ace of clubs here. Let's see, play the four and the three. So nothing near, nothing there. We can play the two of clubs. Okay. Here we go. We'll play this. And hopefully we can open up a column so we can uh, use that uh, king at some point. But I, I don't know. Maybe there is a red jack. I think that red jack is something we want to look at too because that gives us either this 10 or this 10. I think we're going to get to it. So... Let's go back here. We really want this king to be able to be played so we can move some other stuff around because there's this 10 is valuable. We could play this 10 and 9 at some point possibly. And you know, we could uh, solve this potentially. So let's go back here a little bit. So there's the jack we wanted to play. And the question is this 10 or the other 10? Let's try this 10 first. There's a jack. Uh, four, we're still alive there. Okay. And that gives us an open column. Two open columns, so that's going to work. That's going to work really good because now we can get to that king. And better yet, we can get to this column here. Oh, that's great. We can move this three clubs and four clubs up to the foundation pile. So we're in decent shape. Uh, we've got to figure out basically these two columns here and we should be able to maybe get this done well i don't want to be too optimistic here because this nine is going to be a tougher card to get to so we can play the king but not yet just want to move some of these other cards around back here i'm going to play this eight and other cards as well so next time around we'll play the eight eight here we can get to the seven that'll allow us to move the six here so that's something we're going to want to uh, go for ace of hearts here and uh, yeah we're going to see what you do here. oh there's a seven right here we can play as well that might be the play i think that's going to be yeah because we want to get this ten and nine this nine so yeah okay so change of plan here we're playing this king and we're playing this seven. So we're playing those two cards. We'll play the six here. Okay, that's good. That's hard. So now we have have all four kings down. We just need to get this column open here. Next time around, this ten will come. We'll play that. And we can also play this eight as well if we need to. And any of these cards should we need to. But uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes here. So we're going to play the ten. I don't know if I'm playing the eight yet. We're going to play this 9, open up the column there. There's a 10, that's good for us. An 8. Uh, we need a black 9, and there is a black 9 right here. So we're not going to play this 8 yet. We're going to only play one card. The reason why we're doing that 
is, well, you know, we would like to see this black nine right here so we can play this eight. That's why. And now we get the ace of spades. That's great. We're going to get this thing solved, I think. So we're going to move some cards up to the foundation pile. And then we're going to see where we're at uh, with the rest of this. The five of clubs there. Diamond, diamond. So that's the other way to move the eight of clubs and move the hearts. A spade will bring down five of spades, seven of spades, and we get this thing solved in like now. Sweet, got that one done. So hopefully, I was able to teach you too. And you know, if you're looking for more games like today's game, some of them a little more challenging, there's a playlist called Let's Play Solitaire on this channel. If you're looking for a way to get better, there is a playlist with solitaire tips with more tips in addition to the tips we have from today's game. And, uh, yeah, these are my favorite two. They get Red Arrows pointing to them. Uh, I would highly recommend checking those out if you have not already. I'd like to thank you for watching and wish you good luck.